My mum was one of the most caring people. A day didn't go by where I didn't speak to her. I didn't tell her I love her, so we were extremely close. Three days after New Year's Eve, she came home from my grandmother's. She was feeling a bit breathless, but otherwise she was fine. She made her cup of tea, said goodnight and went up to bed as normal. And I'd say a half an hour later, my father ran down the stairs and said, your mom can't breathe. So I ran up and she was already sitting on the floor. I made sure she took her inhaler. It wasn't working. I didn't know how to use a nebulizer. I knew you had to fill it with some sort of solution. She was trying to do that herself, but there was no way in her state that she could have done it. Because the nebulizer wasn't working, she just passed out. My boyfriend started doing CPR until the paramedics arrived. When we got to the hospital, a few hours passed again and they brought us into a room to say, there's nothing there, there's no activity in the brain, there's absolutely nothing we can do. Um, and was she an organ donor? That was it. And my whole life just stopped there. People take far too much of a casual approach to asthma and it 100% needs to be taken more seriously. People themselves who have asthma need to wake up and realise I have a serious condition. It's not just, you know, something that I might get a bit wheezy every now and then. This is something that I could possibly die from. An attack could spring from nowhere. Have an asthma action plan ready to go because the first thing you're going to do when you have an asthma attack is panic. Friends and family as well need to know that if you have someone in your family that has asthma, you need to know what to do. Because when my mother had that attack, I felt extremely helpless. I definitely believe that if my mom had an asthma action plan, she could still be here today. To get your free asthma action plan, visit asthma.ie or contact the Asthma Society of Ireland.